Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm here to do the monthly reading for the month of March, even though, it, albeit it's five days late starting, um, for the sign of Capricorn for March 2019. Let's get right into your shuffle. Before I begin, today I'm burning my intuitive candle, uh, sparkling cranberry. It smells a lot like black cherry. It makes your glands water in your mouth. It's a beautiful candle, beautifully colored, beautifully scented. 100% soy-based double wick candle with a good 40-hour clean burn on it. Wipe-ups are easy and clean. Um, they're running a special right now on these. If you um, go to their website, intuitivecandles.com, use a promo code BOFF10, you'll get 10% off your order. BOFF10 stands for Bay of Fundy Fortunes and the number 10 on the end. Oh, yeah, and the best part. Not only do they look good and smell good, they give you a gift. As the wax melts, you're left with a reveal, and it's usually wrapped in tin foil. Um, the latest one that I got was the other night from this candle, matter of fact. One I don't have. I've got a lot of gems and stones, but I don't have this. It's a red jasper, and the camera does not do it any justice at all. It's a beautiful pendant. I just need a nice chain for it. I've gotten this one, too, which is a multitude of different stones. The lighting in here is all daytime lighting, so no, I mean, they've got all kinds of trees of life. All kinds of trees of life. Beautiful pendulums, amethyst, and rose quartz, and everything you can think of. Go to intuitivecandles.com. Use the promo code BOFF10. All right, for those new to the channel, this is a five-card spread for the month of March. First card, overall energy. Second card is your... Wealth and finances, your third card, your your heart, your home, and intimate love, stuff like that. Fourth card, your challenges, should there be any. And your fifth card is your message from spirit. These are for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Rising, and Capricorn Moon. These are general readings as well, which may or may not resonate with you. I'm dedicating most all the readings this month to a whale that's been held in captivity for 48 years. And where she came from is, um, oh, what are their names? The Lumis? The Lumis. They're, they're an indigenous tribe, and they're trying to get her back into the, her own waters where she was born. Her pod, even after all these years, continues on. It's been located. And they have it all set up and ready for her. To come home, they have a watered area. It's like a lake. It's like a hundred acres, and she's got plenty of room to go in. There's inlets and outlets. Her pa family migrates right by there every year. It'll only take the first migration, and they'll be back together if they can get her back here. The um, the aquarium place that has her, one of those places like Sea World and that. You know what I mean? Um, they won't give her up. She's living in a container um, a unit that's way too small for her and has been her whole life. Cramped into this small area that's chlorinated water as well. It makes me sick to think about it. Her name is Tokate. It's T-O-K-A-T-A-E. T-E-A. One way or the other. You just Googling that information. Well, well, held captive for 48 years. You know, but they call her something else. I forget what it is at that aquarium place. They call her something else. They don't call her by her real name. So I thought I'd dedicate and try to raise some awareness about her. If you Google online, you can find stuff on her. So, so I'm going to go and I'm going to cut these. And I'm going to consult with my pendulum Lilith to see if these are indeed your cards. Capricorn for March. Okay. 
Lilith as this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for this monthly reading for the sign of Capricorn for March 2019. Are these the five cards that are meant for the Capricorn general reading? Thank you. You may stop. You hear this crunching in the background? It's my cat. He's eating. You see your cards? Let's push this back. Bring the camera down so you can see. All right. Very first card, your overall energy is the Three of Wands of Motivation. It's a very lovely card. Second card, your wealth and finances. Lovely. The Wheel of Fortune and Destiny, Capricorn. Card number three, your hearth, your home, family, and an intimate love. Whoops. There we go. Is the Queen of Wands, Compassion. Your next card we're looking at is... Your challenges, should there be any? We're looking at the Nine of Wands in defense. I would say there's some. Yes, safe to say. Card number five, in the final word, and the message from Spirit is the Six of Swords and Calm. You could do worse. And this is your spread for March. There we go. All right. Oh, it's a little too much. There. Okay, so your very first card we're looking at is the Three of Wands motivation, much like the Chariot. These cards are so much alike. It's not funny. Um, this is a card about, well, threes are highly active. That's what it means. Whatever's going on, there's a lot of activity going on. There's nothing slow or stagnant and still here. There's a lot going on. Um, it, that can affect or play into love, romance, weddings for some. Passion in the arts for other others. It is wands. It is fire sign. So it's all about passion too. It always is with the wands. It's a card of success. This is a card of um, taking a different angle on something and looking at something in a different way, in a different light. Um, new way of thinking for some of you, which is a big change. Um, there's travel involved with this sport as well, with this card as well. Not sports. I don't know where sports came from, but spirits are high with this card as well. They are around. They are present. You grow in spirituality. You're not walking alone on this earth. There's a lot of stuff going on here. New love coming into the picture for some of you, whether you want to hear that or not. That's what's going on through the month. Um, the new way of thinking is really interesting. But it's a successful card. It's a good card. The next card we're looking at here is the Wheel of Fortune and Destiny. Yes, sir. Destiny. So, I like this card. It always makes me smile because it says to me right off that where things are right now is the way things were supposed to be. This is where we're supposed to be in this moment. I like the assuredness of that, um, the certainty of that as well. To know that no matter where you are, this is where you're supposed to be in this moment. See, in this one, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and Destiny's been pre-written for you here. Keywords are fate and luck, the unexpected movement, change, crossroads, and clairvoyance. Um, you've got two movement um, issues here at the same time. There's going to be a lot going on for you. This seems to be a recurring theme through some of the readings. Um, the messages have been coming in that uh, that... It's either nothing happened for the longest time, everything was too quiet, stagnant, dull, gray. And then once things started to happen, it's like everything happened at once. To the point, as I said in one earlier reading, I said, you stop. I've been so overwhelmed and busy. That'll stop and, and, and I'm getting overwhelmed. It's getting ahead of me. I'm not keeping up. And there's a half panic that goes on. And then I just stop and I laugh. Yeah, I'm wasting time by stopping, but I have to. And I laugh and I laugh and I laugh. And then I tell myself, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I think about the worst thing that could happen. I say there are worse things. And I move on at my own pace. That's something you might want to think about. Um, the advice of this card, it's not so much about doing all the time and giving to other people. It's also about receiving. So be open to receiving. If you can give it, then you can receive it. Go with the flow of things. Don't, 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 put too, don't go against the grain so much. Don't go against other people so much. Just kind of go with the flow. Just chill out and hang out. 
That's all you got to do. Um, you're going to be feeling there's going to be some good stuff happening to you. Now, this is just reminding me of the previous reading here. This is this is a, a card of being grateful for the good fortune that you have in your life already and the good fortune that's coming your way as well. It's a beautiful card. And this card comes into your life. It is a, um, a forward-moving card. It brings a boost to most areas of your life. Everything gets topped up a little bit. Um, topped off or notched up a bit. That's what I'm trying to say. Trying to say it all in one word. The advice of the card here, too, is to allow fate to lead you to your destiny. This card also brings feelings of optimism, and what a beautiful feeling that is. That's really nice. Um, and turning some unexpected chances, things you weren't prepared for, things you didn't see coming, and you have to make decisions based on these things. You make great decisions based on these things that are unexpected. So um, just analyze everything, think before you speak, and you will do very, very, very well. Intuition is heightened with this card whenever it shows up as well. So make your money work for you, not you work for your money. Put some investments out there if you feel that it's the right time to do so. Like I said, let your money grow while you sleep. <laughs> Isn't that the ideal thing for making money? You make money in your sleep. Parking lots. Vending machines will do stuff like that. Make money in your sleep. Queen of Wands and passion, Capricorn. Queen of Wands and passion in your hearth and in your home. Um, she's, of course, because she is wands, she's the queen of, um, she's highly passionate, very, very passionate. She's one of these people spends her passion on, spends her conscious time on passionate things because she feels that that's what life is all about. She's extremely dynamic and talkative and she leads by example. And this could be describing some of you, Capricorn, all right? You're an inspiration to others through beliefs and works and wants everybody to fulfill their potential potential. Do you want do you want people to fulfill their potential? Do you want to see people to be the best that they can be? And do you tend to do that to people? Haul that out of them. So they get it out and they look at it and they examine it. And maybe because of you, there's been one or two people that have moved on because of your passion and your belief in them. That's a really nice thing. In relationships, she does speak to the heart, where communication is really vital to her. I'm the same way. Oh my God, I'm the same way as her. Communication is vital to me. And I get really, really, really frustrated with those that are closed off from their emotions. That pisses me off. It pisses me off. People that just seem to shut down and they don't show, they've always got that poker face on. Do you ever crack a smile? Good God, do you ever crack a smile? Do you feel your inside smiles? You know, this sort of thing. How can you even know you've got a heartbeat or a pulse if you don't allow yourself to feel some passion in your life? Who cares what other people think? You know, when I was growing up, my mother got it out of me to, to um, a long story short, it became very monotone and I had no inflection in my voice at all. And this is the way I spoke. I, it's just the way it was. And then when I got away from my, my mother in that way, and um, I started being more expressive because it felt more colorful to me. It felt better than talking in this controlled, monotone voice all the time. So I started just being myself. And you know, some people, like old people that knew me from before, weren't used to that new me, you know, and they, you know, try to get me to simmer down a bit or not be so colorful or not be so happy. Because somebody said to me once, this was before, okay? This is when I was like 19 and 20. You're always so happy all the time. All the time, you're smiling and happy. Well, back then, I had reason to be happy. I had the sense of freedom that I never had before, and it was a wonderful thing. But people try to pull you back. Don't let them do that to you. Don't. If somebody goes, oh, calm down. Or, but you know what? Telling me to calm down is like holding a... A burlap sack with a friggin' bobcat inside it, alive. 
and telling you to just calm down. It ain't going to happen. Period. End up. If anything, I get more riled up. And then sometimes I do that on purpose just to get them going and say, you should calm down. <laughs> After they get going. And <laughs> just see how does it feel? Someone controlling how you feel, don't let people do that to you. That's so because what you're doing is you're you're basically you're reining in your personality. Why would you want to do that? People can't handle your I tell people you can't handle my personality. Unlike this all the time, you better get out of here. Get away from me right now because I will not come down because calm down and be all monotone and level just because you happen to be in the same space. Get out of my face. It's just that simple. Life is too short. When you get to be my age, you can say these things with a sh with certainty. I can say these things with certainty. Life is too short. It truly is. I don't want to be on my deathbed if I die a slow death and I'm aware that I'm dying. I don't want to be on my deathbed having regrets. We're all going to have regrets, but I don't want to have regrets like that. That I gave my time, my personality, my essence away because of other people. Do not do that. It's time for you to start exploring your own passions, as a matter of fact. That's what you do. And if others want to stay closed off from their emotions, then so be it. You can only bring them to it, but you can't make them go at it. You know what I mean? You can show it to them, but you can't do anything more than that. If I see this card, it's for you to explore your passions and to look to unconventional people and brand new places for inspiration. Follow your intuition while you're on this track as well. Um, your keywords here are enthusiasm, see, leadership. Don't be afraid to take the lead in something. And if others want to follow, the more the merrier. Creativity is very high. A lot of color going on in everybody's readings. This, I don't know what this is all about. Intuition is very, very strong. You're gaining strength. Relationships are highlighted. But a one, my most important and most beautiful word in the English language, because it puts everybody on an even keel, and that's called integrity. Keep your integrity in check at all times. Next card we're looking at, and it looks like there might be a little bit of friction going on. Well, that's real life, is it not? That is real life. <clears throat> we have friction every day in our lives. No matter how positive we work at staying, there's some things, there's going to be a bit of friction. Um, it's the way it is. You're going to be feeling very, very protective for some of you um, with everything. You're holding on tight to everything. You're becoming more possessive of people and things um but some of you are holding on to the past due to fear maybe it's time you think about that i can't zero in on what it is i don't know i'm not being shown and i'm not being told exactly what this is um but some of you are holding tight to the past due to fear it's just something that you refuse to let go of i just you know i hate this expression but i just heard this if everything isn't going wrong in my life then nothing's going right because some people, that's how they believe their life is. It's like every turn they take, there's some catastrophe or there's some drama. Something's happening and it's not good. Sometimes it's just your perspective. We all have friction. You're not alone there. You're not unique. We all run into problems. We have days like that where it's one problem to the minute you get out of bed to the time you go to bed and you say to yourself, what a hell of a day that was, you know? <clears throat> Um, but some of you believe if everything isn't going wrong, then nothing's going right. You're used to everything going wrong. What the hell are you going to do when something goes right, if that's the case? Are you going to be even to even, are you, you going to be able to even handle it? You have to ask yourself that, you know, you have to look at yourself if that's the way you think. That's a bad way of thinking. It's not a healthy way of thinking. It's not a productive way of thinking. If you have few friends or few people or people that avoid you, that would be why. All right. I'm just telling you that Capricorn. Maybe, maybe you're too intense on the negative side of things. You need to lighten up a little bit. Nobody responds to negative. Nobody, nobody wants to respond to intensity along those lines at all. People shy away from that. And why the hell wouldn't they? Why should you walk in and ruin their day? Think about it for a minute. You know, I don't know where that's coming from, but that's from somebody. Shh, 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 shh. Go lay down. Go on. He's been doing this through every video. Go through them all. You hear him talking in the background. And I took care of him before I turned the camera on, by the way. <laughs> um, let go of whatever it is in the past. Protect what is yours. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you don't go all weird about it. Don't go weird about it. Um, but free up some mental space in your head. Maybe cl clear out some of the clutter. 
is start making some plans for your future. Start making plans. Make a little file cabinet in there and make some plans for your future. It gives you goals. It gives you targets to reach. It gives you something to look forward to, something that's possible. Why isn't it possible? It's all up to you. It truly is. Maybe some of you need to be thrown out into the world all by yourself to see how you sink or swim. Because when you get to be old, well, someone like me, I'm widowed now, which was still new to me. I'm on my own. There's nobody to save my ass. It's just that simple. I am on my own. I will sink or I will swim. I'd be damned if I'm going to sink. I'll sink when I want to sink, not till then. You've got to be real determined. Do I get scared? Hell yeah. I don't, I don't like knowing that I'm behind on a bill or something like that. Or maybe I'm running low on food or something like this. Or, you know, there's things I need and I can't get them. You get scared every day. There's a friction in your life every day. I accept it as part of normal life. I'm logical before I'm anything else. And I work at the positive. I talk to the universe all the time. All the time. And I've seen the universe work miracles. You know? So, hey. Life is truly what you make it. And what you put into it. If you want it to be all worry and drama. Then that's what you're going to have. But make some plans for the future. And make them nice ones. Positive ones. Ones you can really look forward to. So, shh, quiet now. Keywords for this card, determined and challenges. Great place that fell into your place of challenges. Your sacrifices you will make. There will be hard work. The hard work is going to pay off. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You'll be glad you, and you'll be damn proud you put in all that work as well. But the rigidity and fear, you need to loosen up a little bit, Capricorn. Your next card and your last card. It looks to me like you might be making it. At least some of you are. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got Calm. And Sixes are all about having harmony in your life and around you. Having a balance and amical relationships. Everybody's getting along. Everything seems to be just flowing just fine. Thank you very much. You don't want anything changes in that. This is all about calm right here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a card of reassurance. But there's calmer waters to come for you. Um, and this is after coming through a lot of our people. Shh, enough. This is, you know, he's a talker. Here's the problem. He doesn't open his mouth until I turn the camera on. He's been doing it more lately. And the first time he did it to me, I couldn't believe it. He likes to talk and he likes to get the word, the last word in. Oh, he's looking around the room. I'm talking away and he's looking around the house. There's nobody else here but him. So I must be talking to him. And that's what he figures. She's talking to me. I'm just answering. That's all I'm doing. You know, so he's getting a big drink of water there now. You drink that up. That's all fresh. The good old well water. Um... There, um, yeah, you cut some of you have come through some really, really difficult times just recently. Things are going to start to calm down. You're going to find your fit. You're going to find your place in whatever happened to you or what you've just been through. You're going to find your place where you can accept it and still move forward. You're not dismissing it because I feel you don't want to dismiss whatever it is. You just want to find a place for it in your heart, in your soul, in your everyday life. You want it to be there. But you still are able to move forward and grow. You're going to be moving on in positive ways, Capricorn. For some of you, there could be a new form of making money on the horizon, like work for somebody. Um, another thing is to prioritize those things that are very important to you. Okay, and any people that are not serving any purpose in your life anymore. I don't mean use people. But if they're just people that are just taking up space, you know, the kind you're not you don't hate them. You don't even like them or dislike them. There's there's just nothing there and there's nothing coming of it. And they just seem to take up more space. You can slowly, you know, th trim off the fat in your life a little at a time. These you'll be long gone before they'll even notice you're gone. You know, and then they can get upset about it, which is ridiculous. But that's what probably will happen. Um, it, it, 
the, the simplest advice is for you to go with the flow with this card. All right, that's your challenge. Is you don't need to be a control freak over everything, Capricorn. Sometimes you let things go and you just you just float along with it. Is what you do. Well, here's what I just heard. At the very least, if you just float along what somebody else is doing, you don't take any of their crap when everything goes wrong. You take solace in that. Sit back and just enjoy the ride. At least, at the very least, be, be amused. At the very least. Keywords are journeys and moving on. Immigration, being into a, a country you've never been to before. Finding a safe haven. Finding peace, resolution, and protection. And that, my dear Capricorns, was your reading for March 2019. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you got something out of it. And that it left you with a sense of hope and belief and excitement for tomorrow and all the tomorrows yet to come. Um, you can also find Bay of Funday Fortunes on Facebook under groups, Bay of Funday Fortunes. It's closed. It's private. It's beautiful in there. Um, anybody else, if you're looking for me, I almost did today, but I knew I wouldn't make it. I, you usually find we had a big snowstorm here yesterday. Um, and there's a ton of snow down, so I wasn't wading through the snow. But you usually find me down at the cove down here, walking on the beach along the water's edge to bring in the highest tides on the whole planet. The beautiful, the bountiful, the Bay of Fundy. They bring in the highest tides in the world here, right in my backyard. And it's fantastic and it's phenomenal. And she's one moody biatch. We'll put it that way. Oh, sometimes I wonder about her, really. It's just like nature, Mother Nature. I think she's, it's her. But anyway, I could go on for hours about that. Anyways, please um, keep the peace since you can share that love, that light out with the world. Do something small today, even minuscule, and pay it forward to somebody else. That can be just smiling at somebody or whatever, something as small as that. They pass it on to someone else and you've got a domino effect and it keeps on going. And how far it goes, we'll never know. It doesn't matter whether we know or not. We just know that it does. So anyways, I'm going to try to make it back to do readings for uh, mid-March. No promises there because with me, I never know what's going on one day to the next. And there's been more wrenches thrown in lately in the last, since December, January, February, yeah. So I'm hoping that come spring, everything is anew. We got lots of energy to keep on going. Anyway, thanks so much for being here, guys, and I'll see y'all later, I hope. Back to the mids. Bye.